Hello everyone, it's Akatria here, and I welcome you to another episode of Library of Ruina. You may already uh, have noticed something in these 10 first seconds, and that's that Aurora looks kind of weird. Yeah, so, in between episodes, I have done general receptions. Just so you know, last time we started with the first reception of Urban Plague being a full stop office. The first ranged cards have been added to our repertoire, which we can only use with ranged key pages, but more about that later. Or in another episode. A little bit later, I think, with the plan I have for today. So, Aurora has a key page called Hanafuda's key page. And, uh, yeah, you might not have seen this, this yet, because this is a special enemy from a general reception. And today I want to cover both uh, general receptions with special enemies. So, first first things first, I do not know how well I'll, I'll do, because especially the first one I want to do, which is the Hanafuda page, is incredibly difficult. So, in order to get that, we need to use... Three books from Urban Plague. And I'll use the Workshop Fixer because that's easy to get. Which also shows us the other special thing, which is what we do later. It's Jikan and the Rusted Chains. Uh, we take the Book of Rusted Chain Links because we'll do that anyways later. This unlocks the Workshop Fixes, which is a, a, a rather easy one. And we can just use one of the books of the Full Stop Office. And then we're here. Five units deployable, one act, and one floor available against Hanafuda and four of her goons. Now, the biggest difficulty about this is, in my opinion, that it's a uh, that we only have three librarians right now, and that's a, that's five enemies right there, on top of only having one floor available. So if uh, so one of you guys already commented it, but I already, but I also noticed it when I did the general receptions the first time when I made it against Jikan specifically that flows available means that how many tries I have basically on so if for example if I had two flaws available and the general works floor would uh, would fail I could then I would then return to this stage uh, to this screen the enemy health will be dis displayed. I could not use the general works floor again because Roland Bell and Aurora are dead. But instead I could use uh, this floor. The floor of... I think this was history? I think Malkuth was history? Yeah. I could use Malkuth's floor instead and do the rest with Malkuth, Reinhardt and Charlotte. But, yeah. One of you guys pointed it out in the comments. So Hanafuda has an interesting page. Basically, it has a speed bottom deal in stacking the deck, which is very, very much based on uh, her. Uh, her key page is very much based on discarding. So is Olga's page, and so is Aurora's whole setup. So Aurora's setup right now is speed bottom deal in stacking king the deck. So whenever she discards a card, I draw one page of the next scene, and she restores one light of the next scene, which is incredibly useful. Then we get uh, Olga's margin. So this, at the end of each scene, restore one light and draw one card if your hand is empty. Got best choice to heal a bit, keeping a stride to heal a bit, a deep breath to maybe restore one more light. Honestly, deep breath is not very important. Uh, and basically what this what this setup is for is basically to use daring decision every single turn. I could go for less of these, uh, Gamble and Fierce Onslaught, because I want to just use daring decision every turn. But since we have a speed dice, we may use more than just daring decisions, so yeah. And flip the table is one of the pages from this fight uh, from this fight as well, which when discarded adds one haste to everyone. Also is pretty good on play. So it's good on discard and good on play. Otherwise I have Bella with Mars's page and she is just very much based on uh, the brawl, brawl build. Uh, there's one of you, I, I cannot remember names, but there's one of you guys who, uh, like, who has made, I think, two? Yeah, two. The, the, the other one was uploaded for me today. Uh, about builds I could use, and I had already this set up before, so the general works page was set up before. Um, 
general works flow, I mean. So this is Brawl build. Basically what Brawl does is it uh, replaces all the roles you see on there with other roles. And we ideally want to use Scratch Map for it, for it. So we have this, a lot of local costs and things with good roles, basically. To just get uh, high rolls without having to suffer the back draw, which would be the losing of two power on Scratch Map. We wouldn't copy that, we only copy the rolls. And for Roland, I just go with a defensive page with buffs, uh, with defensive buffs specifically. But that's enough talk. Let's jump right into the reception and see what Hanafuda is all about. So we're up against five enemies, and honestly, this is kind of rough. The first enemy I kind of want to kill is Hanafuda herself. And we see right here, honestly, this is, this is, this is really, really hard. Did we open Daring Decision? We did. The well, first matter of business is using Daring Decision on here. This will make us better. Actually, does anyone attack Aurora? No. Uh, as for our boy, Roland, he can use Commandeering on to defend himself and then wait up to restore one mana and at the same time defend against me so these are the guys who use who use haste stuff and uh, also discard and you have brawl in hand but we don't have any good cards to use it with so we use step and detonate on here and it's very important for us to use the cards in hand so we do that all right So our goal is to stay healthy, for the most part, which honestly against five enemies, not so easy. Alright, daring decision hit, but Roland is almost staggered. Damn. Yeah, so Roland is almost staggered and pretty hit, but that should be fine. He's also paralyzed twice, oof. Anyway, we do have haste on our side. We still didn't draw anything great to use Brawl with, so I think we just use Step and Detonate again. Over here and loosen up over there. This is mainly defensive. And we can just use Daring Decision again and get Flip the Table off it again. Incredible. Use it on this dice and... She doesn't have a fourth light yet, so it doesn't matter. You will definitely use Fans on that. And flank attack would be okay. I use flank attack on here because it has a very good offensive roll for one dice, but yeah. Uh, anyone attack someone I don't want to be attacked? I can only interfere with this. All right. Step and detonate is one of the uh, one of the workshop office things, and it honestly is pretty good. Yeah, Hanafuda doesn't have a candle to Aurora. Okay. Now, you may have noticed, but my strategy for general works is just to buff Aurora with every offensive buff I have. Alright, we do this, and since we have one more light, we can use it over here so just just so aurora doesn't take much more damage all right uh you go over there still don't have a good card to good thing to use a brawl this is nice and um, this is just supplement uh, basic basically this is just my strategy this is just how i go about this game right now Ouch! Aurora staggered. That is incredibly bad for me. And rolling too. Yikers. Alright, we got two staggered peeps. Alright, brawl copying brawl is good. Uh Okay, this should be relatively dope. So the one person that cannot die is Aurora. If Aurora dies, we kind of lose. 
so use brawl on here. Nice, we staggered one of the Jong's office workers, which is good. And then we should be relatively fine. Okay, they're down on health because they had to use pulsation there. That also means that, well, basically daring decision helps a lot with keeping her alive. Hmm. Yeah, use that against this. All right, uh, you use commandeering against this. And wait up here. Oh, finally we got scratch far. That's insanely good. All right. So Aurora's back on 15 now, which is really good. Also, we just used Brawl and Scratch Fat, which was also insane. insane. And Hanafuda is dead. And Roland is dead. Okay. Now, we just need to kill everyone with Aurora. That's our goal. Hanafuda is now our lifeline. And we will never attack for one that is already staggered because it just does not do anything for us nice okay we did not redraw a uh the card we wanted mm. use gumball here and Fierce Onslaught there. The worst thing about this is that we do not have uh, an empty hand at the end of a turn, which is our goal. Our goal is to empty our hand every turn. Actually, we do because we just call. Never mind. Okay, after this turn, Aurora will definitely die. But that should be okay because this enemy will definitely die. Nope, nothing can stand against all three buffs I get from uh, from abnormalities on uh, on Aurora. <laughs> nothing stands against that. And yeah, that was the uh, general reception for Hana uh, for Hanafuda's Jong office, where we get the book of Hanafuda and just Jong office fixes stuff. Sheesh, always hard to do that. Always difficult. And the second thing we can do is uh, the Rusted Chains. And for the first part, I want to use this. I have literally just made this up on the fly. So I have a Tamaki's page on Hot to try out the uh, try out the ranged pages. She also has plus one damage to enemies with bleed because we've got Pusei over there with a bleed build. And also this is very this is for burst on turn one. This whole page is burst on turn one. Uh Jikan's page is what we get from this reception usually. And it's very bleed based. It comes with speed, sublimate, which gains one power uh, for every five seconds of blood on cell, which we do by ourselves with now die. Um the uh, open wound and twist wound, which is plus one damage and stagger damage against uh, people with bleed. I use double kick on this because she's just uh, because Puse is just made to deal damage. Same for keeping in stride, and the rolls here are incredibly good. Emergency rations to keep uh, to stay alive and concentration just to get some damage on the first turn. And then we've got Dana without a deck. <laughs> I forgot to give Dana a deck. What? All right, let's uh, let's fix that real quick. Um. Let's give Donna. Now you now you get a look inside the mind of Arcatrios building a deck. Two main weapon. Where's the loser? Uh, where's the loser again? Two dudes no. Three refine. Mm. 
where's step detonate two step detonate this is basically just a a workshop related build with uh with some lead stuff because we deal bleed anyway all right let's try it so i use this for the first fight and then the general works for the second fight because that's the way i can do it better This is also the first time I see this pay, uh, this field. Alright. Uh, going for Bullseye is exactly what I want you to do. On to... It doesn't matter, we always go first against melee. You are made to use now die. And you are made to use refine. Nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't have any light restoration on hard. That's pretty bad. Okay, but you can use... Here's my chance over there. And flank attack over here. Why you use that detonate? Over here. Yep. So yeah. That's uh, what this is all about. It actually works out pretty good. Uh... Hmm. Only person with big slash attacks is Pusey. Okay, you can just flank attack and loosen up. You can step and detonate. Oh yeah, light restoration on, on this is weird anyway, because we cannot equip any... We cannot equip any kind of uh, melee page. Alright, that one guy lived with one health. That should be more than enough. <clears throat> yeah, that was that. And then there's the second phase that is basically... <clears throat> that is basically just G-Con and two more rust rusted chain links. For which I go back to my main floor, which is general works. Honestly, I've grown so uh, so attached to general works as a function, because it lets me feel safe while also going super offensive. But I kind of want to give other floors a chance to at some point. All right. Daring decision over here. Uh, your shield can be used over here. And wait up over there. Ooh, if it doesn't copy step or uh, detonate. Step and detonate. This could be big. All right. Sash. Oh boy. It copied the scratch bot, which is big. Mm. Get here.
And you can just daring decision again. Do we have another counter now we can use? Nope. Alright. So yeah, this is this is pretty nice because we can just if if we draw a daring decision, we can use it every turn. Urging for sure on uh, Aurora. Grants are more speed. I like speed. Over here, commandeering over there. The good thing is we can use uh, Taste My Flaming Bad too. Ah, oh, okay, it uh, copied step and detonate. Pulsation because it grants all allies more shit. And daring decision, go. No, oh, we don't have any brawl left in our hand, what's sad. You use that net knight over here, and you just use commandeering over. That should oh that already gave him the rest. G Khan's already dead. All right, we did not redraw our best card, which is fine. Step and detonate over here. Commandeering over here on um, flank attack well, yeah, I thought, why not? It's damaging Aurora is really hard unless you have a numbers advantage Which is mainly based on the fact that well she heals a lot Yeah, that's all right there really is to it Yep. <laughs> and that was the reception of Rusted Chains. Pretty chill. Uh, that that was more chill of a uh, of a reception than Hanafuda's reception. But yeah, the uh, the two boat reception, as I said, was just uh, free goons. I can just show it again on the. So this is just free goons. It is not really all that interesting, not gonna lie. But yeah, let's get a look at all the stuff we got. I already have all the other related key pages, of course. But yeah. Actually, I'm missing one of Jikant's key pages, so that would be cool if we got that. Yeah, let's roll. And there we have it. So yeah, the Hanafuda stuff is, is relay, like draw a card upon discarding, which generally, which usually would be good if we wouldn't use margin, Olga skill that requires an empty hand. Uh, flip the table is one haste to all enemies on discarding, while low, low at night, high at day is just yourself. So I prefer to discard a card by just better. Shuffle Hands is nice, it's a defensive card where that discards and draws a card by itself. So it can be used in other uh, in other builds as well, just to, as, a, as a, a two cost defensive card to cycle. Uh, and Sakura is Hanafuda's key, uh, is Hanafuda's signature attack, but I just don't like it because it requires me to have more than four pages in hand. That's a lot. I will never have enough draw for that. As for the can stuff, it's, ba it's basically just uh, good rolls. Yeah, like usually it has really good rolls, like 3 5, 3 6 on 1 or 0 costs already, which is insane. It inflicts bleed to yourself, and apparently this one restores one night. So yeah, uh, and then there's this. Inflict one bleed to self, next scene has 3-7 and 4-7, which is incredibly good. 
There's Now Die, which is Jikan's signature attack, which inflicts 5 lead to yourself. This scene, not next scene. And all dice on this page gain plus 3 power, which is insane, especially with his own skill that makes it gain 4 power instead. Since if you have 5 bleed, all dice gain 1 power as well. And there's Here's My Chance, which is a which is a weaker version of Now Die for 2 cost and only inflicts 3 bleed. And also they, already, uh, they also inflict bleed to enemies, which is incredible. But yeah. That's all I wanted to show for this video. This is just like a, a chill side video, basically. Just to, uh, a, you could call it a bridge video, just to show that uh, how I got the key pages, because I am definitely going to use uh, this setup for longer. As long as, uh, as long as this works, I'll use it. Mainly because because it works. It allows me to be more experimental on, on rolling in Bella, because Aurora can carry me, basically. And yeah, it's funny how all of this is based on Heart of Aspiration. All three, all three abnormality pages of Heart of Aspiration going on to Aurora. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to do for today. A very short one, I, I see, but I hope you don't hold it against me. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode of Library of Runa, where we go on and tackle the, the main story a little more with more invitations in, the, uh, in this region, either this, this, or this one. I'm looking forward to, may maybe we do all three in one episode, would be a long episode, but that would offset this episode being shorter. Generally speaking, please tell me if, I, uh, if you want me to make my episodes longer, I can definitely do that if you want that. I just, I sort of defaulted to 40 minutes as my, uh, as my maximum, just because I thought that it would be boring to watch it for too long. But at the same time, 40 minutes, we usually just get two receptions done, or maybe in that normality battle with, uh, with a lot of story behind it. And if you guys feel like I should make my episodes longer, please tell me. I will do it. Um, uh, otherwise, I'll just keep to the structure I have right now. But yeah. Yet again for the fourth time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I uh, catch you guys in my next episode. And have a wonderful day, right? Bye bye.